Hi, my name is Dr. Martin Gorman, and I've been practicing here in the Greater Los Angeles area for over 35 years. Today we're going to talk about what health conditions and diseases are associated with sleep apnea. And what we've done here, we've created this chart, which is really fabulous, and it goes to the different parts of the body and shows us what symptoms and other issues and, and, and major diseases are really associated with sleep apnea. Now we can look here and you have mood disturbances, depression, anxiety, loss of motivation, you have daytime sleepiness, memory loss, reduced work efficiency, etc. that are associated, but, and there's loud snoring, but the first one here in about 15% of the cases, you have type 2 diabetes. Now type 2 diabetes is acquired diabetes, so you have to work to get it. It isn't genetic as type 1. So in type 2, what happens is there's a lack of oxygen in the system coming in because of the airflow has been cut off. And what happens is you end up not being able to uh, synthesize the sugar in your system. So you end up getting diabetes because of a lack of, basic lack of oxygen flow. And we've had several patients over the years where we've treated patients with um, sleep, sleep appliances. And when they've gotten retested after several months, their type 2 di diabetes has disappeared. So we know there's a huge connection there. Also, we have um, hypertension is a major issue associated with um, sleep apnea. And the reason you have hypertension is when your oxygen in your system is in, in, in your back in your airway is blocked from coming in, it creates a fight or flight mechanism in our body, increases blood pressure. And that's not good for anybody. And the blood pressure really, in the, in, the, in the studies and the tests, really goes off the charts. And it, it's a tremendous stress in the body. We have coronary artery disease, which is huge. We have cardiac arrhythmias, because your heart's working overtime. We have um, congestive heart failure, general heart disease, and obviously sudden death. And none of that's any really good or helpful for anybody to be in that condition. So the bottom line is sleep apnea is a very, very dangerous disease and it's associated with a tremendous number of other diseases that cause severe breakdown of our body and cause and can shorten our lifespan tremendously. So being treated is critical at any age, any time.